One day, a group of penguins were enjoying themselves in the icy tundra. The penguins like to swim and play and generally do whatever it is most penguins do. There was one particular penguin, however, who was different than the rest. And he also was the littlest penguin. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to The Littlest Penguin. Now this is a game about a penguin and I'm sure it's going to be only lovely and amazing and everything is going to turn out great. Up to jump- oh! Oh look at that tiny little jump! Oh! Oh! Oh look at that! What a little penguin! Oh, Booski! Oh, that don't work, apparently. Hang on, wait, wait a minute, I'm not- I'm not exactly 100% sure how to control the littlest penguin here. Let me dive- wow, that is scary. Hit it there! There the we go! The penguin liked the other penguins well and fine enough, albeit in small doses. Of course. He was much more interested in going on adventures, and yes. he felt that today could possibly be his best adventure yet. I would agree! Thank you so much for allowing me to go on this epic, incredible adventure. Yeah, nothing dark or sinister while lurking around the corners here. Whoa. Hello! What the hell was that? That was an awkward scene transition, but okay. Oh! Hi! Uh... Just then, he discovered a very old, very sick penguin lying next on a large stone. Won't you please help me? Cried out the old penguin. I'm very sick and I'm very old. Please, won't you help fulfill an old penguin's request? The littlest penguin agreed and was horrified by what the old penguin said next. Bash my head in with this stone. End my pain, littlest penguin. The littlest penguin did as he was told. Uh, don't I have any say in this matter? Don't I, don't I get a little bit of, you know, input on the adventure that's about to unfold before me? Oh. oh god, I didn't do anything! Inside the littlest penguin. Oh, no. Suddenly, a rush of emotions he had never known filled him. Oh, no. Filled him like nothing had ever done before. Oh, god. This feels like heaven! Oh, cried out the littlest penguin, who set out freshly driven, given new direction to his adventure. Okay. If killing just one penguin felt that good, oh, no. I wonder how it would be if I killed ten penguins. And off he went to test his theory. Uh, again! That way! Oh! Thank you for guiding me! I don't have any choice in the matter! What happens if I go the other way? Will I just kill those penguins? No, I'm just gonna go the way you tell me to go. Oh no! Oh man! The littlest oh. penguin came upon a small group of his peers. This will do, he thought to himself, picking up a club that had been lying in the snow. <laughs> oh no! It's not such good narration. The first oh one God! No! Far easier than the little penguin. Oh before. no! This spooked the others, but to his surprise, the little penguin <laughs> found that the more they ran, the greater his satisfaction when he finally beat them down, <laughs> and beat them down he did until the last of them were reduced to little more than a red stain. <laughs> Snow. Oh my god, this is amazing and horrifying. <laughs> it is this dude. <laughs> it's just so sudden. It's just a sudden thunk. <laughs> like my god. Just a club lying in the snow randomly and sporadically and then off to murder we go! Oh, success! I don't know if I'd call this a success, but it's a thing! As he moved through the crowd in order to reach the other side, the Diddless Penguin felt the eyes upon him. The other penguins began to grow weary of him, shifting their gaze as he walked by. I do not like the way they stare at me, thought the Littlest Penguin. I do not like it one bit. Perhaps, after I kill them all, I shall make a fine necklace of their eyes. This thought occupied the Littlest Penguin as the others wobbled nervously around him. 
and perhaps a crown made from their beaks, so all can see and marvel at how beautiful I am. Okay! Alright! You'd think that they'd be doing more than just giving me a shifty look. Oh! Whoa! Jeez. <laughs> something, uh, something slightly wrong about this little penguin here. Something, uh, something about being tiny and full of anger. Something I can relate to very much, just not to this level. Oh boy. Oh good, I'm on a platform now. Is this the stage I shall set for my murderous campaign? Oh! Oh! Hi! What the hell is- Oh! Oh cool! An Arctic Research Center! Uh, uh, oh! Oh! This was more like it, thought the Lithus Penguin. Oh! He could now return to the other penguins look, and make good on his plan. Look at that shaky ass penguin! Oh no! Oh look how shaky he is! Ah, I got that penguin murder and jiggling fever! He's, he's just a little dancy fool. Oh boy! Hi friends! Hello! How are you doing? Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! Filled the air. Again oh, no. he would slash at them and again they would cry out. Oh, Some geez. attempted to vainly crowd their entrails back inside. Others simply fell apart where they stood. Uh. The lipless penguin was thrilled. Oh, how he wished this moment could last forever. <laughs> Screams the panic, the rapture that pulsed inside of him. He could no sooner explain the magic behind his elation any more than he could bring himself to stop. Well. Not until every last penguin had been split apart. My goodness, this narrator is good, by the way. Oh man, I feel like this story definitely deserved a David Attenborough-style narration. My goodness. Well, I hope that's the end, because holy shit. My god. Oh, and that's the end! Okay, David Mills, Suits and Noose, narration when by Balthazar the finally 007. stopped twitching, and he no longer felt the eyes upon him, the littlest penguin stopped. Breathing heavily, he surveyed the destruction he had wrought. Ugh. They were all so beautiful now. Too beautiful, in fact. The ecstasy felt by the littlest penguin slowly faded, and an undeniable sense of emptiness began to take its place. It's not fair. Oh no. He thought. Oh no. They are all so oh, no. beautiful now. Oh, Why no. can't I be beautiful like them? Oh, God. Why must I be the only one? It isn't fair. It just isn't fair. The littlest penguin looked at the chainsaw. <laughs> oh no. The blood dripped off the teeth of the blade, almost glistening in the moonlight. Oh God. Suddenly, the littlest penguin knew how to feel beautiful like the rest. He knew then what it was he must do. Oh God! Oh God! Oh, what a game! One day, oh God! No! Stop! Stop it! I can't do tundra. it again! Oh God! To no! Play in the uh, stop! Oh it man! Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh, wow. Was oh, what a game! What a game! Was oh what a game! And he also Holy crap! The penguin. Oh, I think it goes without saying: don't go on a chainsaw murder suicide spree. Don't do that. Holy shit! Oh man, so like 10% of me actually enjoyed that experience, and then like the other 90% of me wishes that I could just wash my brain so I never had to experience any of the bullshit that I just saw. But either way, that was the littlest penguin, though. Thank you everybody so much for watching, for what it was, and I hope you got a laugh, maybe, I don't know. So, thank you again, let me know what you thought the deeper meaning of this game was in the comments down below, and as always, I will see you in the next video, Bye bye well, I was always hoping that I'd have this intimate control over my buttocks, I'm glad that this day has finally come to me. Oh my chest, no, not my chest! Not my chest! Oh, not my chest! Go, go, go!